Hey, how's it going, everybody? Today we're playing some Ymir. And we're up against a diamond on her. Ooh, would you look at that? Oh, I have to fight on her so often. Anyways, uh, I know the past few videos were like pre-recorded because that was before I lost my channel to the whole hack thing. And if you don't know about that, uh, this video explaining what happened on my channel. But, um, yeah, I still have more of those pre-recorded videos because, again, I recorded all so many videos right before my channel got taken over because I wasn't going to be available to record videos. But, oh well. Um, I still have more of them, but I think it would be best if I returned to the recording them the day of or the day after um, the video goes up. So that's what we're going to be doing right now. Um, I don't actually know this honor player, but they do have that diamond border. And as I've said before, this matchup can be interesting as long as I don't get first blooded like immediately. If I don't get first blood immediately, this is a fun matchup. If I get first blood right away, it's not a fun matchup. And it's a very, like, this is the matchup that I get a lot of comments on saying, hey, whenever I play Ymir and I fight on her, and on her's good, I don't know what to do. And honestly, uh, it's a tough one. I mean, I don't have any direct comments to help. But it is really difficult fighting an on her when they know what they're doing, especially when they go mannequins, too. Also, he did leap away there because he thought I was going to freeze. I was not going to do that. So now we take the minis. Now I'm slightly ahead. And he also got poked out for that. Also, beads is also sometimes a better first relic in this matchup. Um, I did go uh, blink. But sometimes beads is better defensive because if they jump on you, you can beads. And yeah, now he knows I'm not going for the freeze when I do that. Let's wall him off so I can clear these minions in peace. Okay, so he's going straight for blue buff. He's not even going to defend red buff, so I'm going to take this. And then I might be able to take my own blue buff as well. Duel's all, all about, you know, getting getting all the all the buffs. Stuff like that. Let's see if I can wall off his impale. Nope. Sometimes if you can wall off Honor's Impale, that helps a ton. I'm low on mana, so I should recall after this wave. We don't want him to try to fight me. That would be bad. However, he might try to go for my blue buff. If he tries to go for my blue buff, I will blink over the wall and stay. Yep. <laughs> no, sir. You're not getting that buff. Glad I went blink now. I don't know why, but I could just kind of tell by the way that on her didn't fully clear the wave and then went for the blue buff. He was like trying to prioritize farming the buffs and getting the buffs on cooldown. So I was just kind of like when I was ready to back there, I was just kind of like, I better make sure he's not going to go for my blue. Because if he jumps over that wall, it's just a, you know, alt and then he's dead. Maybe if he ulted right away, he could have walked out of my alt. What does he see me in deep? I doubt it. Let's wall off the impale. Or at least try to. Okay, it looks like he's going Transcendence, so he's going to have a huge amount of power. Um, I could actually back for my Bancrofts here, because there are no buffs up. And all I, I lose a little bit of farm in lane, but I get the power spike from Bancrofts immediately. I could have, again, I could have stayed there, but I lose, what, like two minutes of tower? Kind of just want to stay out of auto attack range. No reason to go near him unless I'm trying to freeze him or something like that. Plus, my blink is down, so I'll try to wall off the impale again here. There we go. Yeah, you can do that. <clears throat> If you use the ability at the same time, I think on her will be able to hit the wave first. But if you use it slightly before he uses it, like ever so slightly, you can actually wall it. And he doesn't get the damage. I should try to stop his recall here. And the reason for that is just to kind of make it so he loses a few minions, similar to how I lost a few minions. And now we recall immediately because neither of these buffs are going to be up in time. 
get that tier one breastplate, which pretty much negates on her passive, which is every, anytime he hits with the auto attack, uh, my protection is reduced by 20. So now it's like, you know, tier one breastplate kind of negates that completely. Now, did he go for his blue buff? Or is he waiting around the corner for this red buff? No, he's going for his blue buff. Okay. Yeah, I will take red buff over blue, his blue any day because then I kind of get control of both red and my own blue buff. And I'll get ahead in XP like that. Bad wall. That's all right. <clears throat> I do need to poke him out here some way, somehow. Or at least get his beads or something. If he recalls, then I just go for... Uh, my buff. Okay. Cool. Or actually, I can go for minis and then my, my buff as well. We don't want to leave any extra farm for him. We're already two levels ahead because of the way we're farming. And again, he can surprise us at this buff, but if he jumps over the wall, then I just ult. If he steals it, then that, that's that. Nope, we're good. Still full health of mana, so we will stay. I can't buy the tier 3 eight. Tier 3 item yet. Try walling off the impale again. Oh, maybe not. He's playing very careful. Very careful compared to most other players. Actually tempted to go for Demon King. I don't know if he canceled it or not. No, no, no. I should not go for it. I should make him think I went for it, though. Good stuff. I still have blink. If I blink all, he's dead. Unless he just recalls. Actually, I need to clear this wave too. <laughs> I was actually going to go for DB key, but this wave was way too close. All right, I got a little bit ahead there because, look, the Brute's going to get hit by the tower now. And the Brute's worth a lot of gold. So when tower in G duel and joust anyways, or I think just duel, when the tower hits a minion, you don't get any gold from it. In conquest, you actually get like half gold or something like that. Also, his beads are down now, which is huge. I don't want to blink unless his leap is down, though. Now we're actually going to try to start taking his blue buff, too. Stuff like that. Nope. I missed everything. Doesn't matter. He's too far back to actually punish me. Unless he leaked, of course. I feel like that shouldn't have hit me. Right, he's too far in tower for me to actually kill him. He's playing very careful. Very careful. So he's actually losing a couple opportunities to kill me and stuff. Because of how careful he's playing. He does get his blue buff though. <clears throat> if I have to choose between getting his blue buff and getting red buff, again, I'll go with my red buff. I just get way more control like that. Again, if he leaps over this wall, then I can just all. Now, second relic, I will get bead. Sometimes I go with Aegis in this matchup if the honor is super aggressive and they're like ulting me constantly. But this honor has ulted me what once. I'd rather have the bead so that when I leap on him, I can, you know, immune the beads or whatever I need to immune. I also do have wards now, so actually going for Demon King's not a bad idea anymore. He's probably gonna try to stop me. I do have my ultimate for the skier though. I'm gonna save my freeze. Is he not coming over here? 
It's like he knew I was doing it and then just ignored that. Wall thin pail? Oh, never mind. We actually just want to recall immediately. Every second I spend not recalling is seconds that he's getting his tower back. I'm also going to rush a Toxic Blade into beads. Okay, let's go. If you're wondering why Toxic Blade, well, there is absolutely no way this on her doesn't build life still. And even if he doesn't, Toxic Blade stats are amazing with the movement speed. And I kind of need movement speed to catch up with him um, because he's playing so defensively as well. Too bad I can buy it now, but... I need to put pressure on this tower. Okay, backdoor protections are gone. I would have thought he would have vaulted there. It will impale me, but it won't really do anything to me right now. Yeah, like, I, I would say this honor is good. He's just way too defensive. Honor is a very strong character to play offensive and defensive. But I'm actually getting so far ahead because of how defensive he's playing. Red buff's coming up pretty soon. Don't want to miss out on that. And because of the way these timers are... Uh, offset, I might be able to finally steal his blue buff. I have a lot of golden hand, though. It's not great to have this much golden hand. Usually better to get that full item, but... I want to push my, push my luck, you know? There we go. <laughs> I almost, I almost feel bad about doing that. Because <laughs> that's the only buff he had. Alright. Now, my blue buff's up, but I don't think he knows that. I'm gonna go auto attack because with beats, I can kind of get near him and stuff. He's actually going towards Demon King. I don't know if you guys saw that, but when he was jumping, uh, I don't I, I don't know if it's a jump stamp or what, but sometimes there's like ones that glow. And if he wasn't jumping, I wouldn't have saw him. So I guess he just went around and then went back. He's putting a ward over there or something. Should have checked if he had a ward. He also has Sprint. Sprint's a good item against Ymir. He must have saw me, yeah. Oh, there it is! The true result of being an on her main, alting the wave. Such a classic. Are you actually recalling? You are. Alright, I'm gonna go get a sentry, and we're gonna sentry it up, and then we're gonna either A, take Demon King, and win, take Phoenix, and then win the game, or B, know that he's coming to go stop me at Demon King and then just winning the fight and winning the game. Uh, he did get Kin Size, which is going to hit very hard. You all and again, I don't even feel bad about going Toxoblade, even if he doesn't get life still, because the stats are pretty good. And if anything, him not having life still is helping me. Okay, his leap is down right now. This is the best time to go for Demon King. It puts pressure on him to come over here. Uh, uh, actually, no, 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 no. That would be a little too hasty. I need to get my item and place a regular ward, or actually even a sentry. So I have a sentry here and here. Or even if he goes and counter wards this, then I have a sentry to counter ward it right away. Um, but yeah, yeah. Looks like he doesn't have a ward. Where's the leap? No leap? Okay, I have blink. He 
stuff. Uh, I have 26 seconds. I mean, I could push the lane, but I feel like it's safer to just take Demon King here. I might just... Like, because if I push lane, I might only get, like, half of Phoenix. This is a mistake a lot of... A lot of people make, and it's actually the one I'm doing, where sometimes you go for Demon King instead of going for Phoenix, when you can take Phoenix, but... I don't know. I just want to make sure that I get it one way or the other. Because I, I feel pretty comfortable, even if he's alive, being able to take it. Uh, I'm going to go Doom Orb, actually. Doom Orb gives an insane amount of power. Gives more power than Rod of Tootie without any stacks, since Rod got nerfed. And then with stacks, it's 165 power with movement speed. And then it's like, since I have Demonic Grip, I have the pen. I just have to be able to get close to him. Okay, now we'll take this. I didn't take my blue buff because I don't want to waste too much time. Alright, let's go. 55 seconds to take Phoenix. I can do that. Sucks I had to use the freeze there because... Nice. Again, I'm slightly faster than him. Nope. He actually let my minions get in range, so he has no backdoor protections on this Phoenix right now. Which is huge, by the way. Oh, that might be a kill. No. I should, I, if I beat the slow, that would have been a kill. That's alright. My priority right now is the Phoenix. I don't want to dive down and then die. Wall of Nintendo. I hate when that happens. I get impaled right when I do that. You did not just ult the wave. Oh, but he did. Oh, but he did ult the wave. And then he sprinted. So now his prince is down. I've yet to use my beads, to be quite, quite honest. Because usually it gets on her when I blink and they're low health and I know their escape's down. That's when I want to use the beads and that way they can't like knock me away while i'm freezing or something but you know, it hasn't really happened this game but again i've been so ahead that i really needed to i guess there's been a few situations where i definitely could have used beads and would have helped the fight but i don't think there has been too many situations where it was like it was imperative to beads If anything, it really helps me when my ult's down and he leaps on me. Like, Andre leaps on me for beats to be up, but he's not really playing to that style right now. Looks like he's going to toxic play as well. How much did uh, Kinsize do, by the way? 1,300. Oh, my goodness. The shot draws me. Cool. Just get him down kind of low. Okay, we still have healing. Everything's good. Oh, this was a bad ult. That was a bad ult. Yeah, usually sometimes if I'm chasing someone and I know they're going to get the fountain, just start charging the ult just to get a nice ult on the titan before you have to get go back to base. Because your ult's pretty low cooldown and I'll have it back before I come back anyways. But it was just kind of a bad idea because his ult was up, so I had to cancel it early without doing any damage to titan. Okay, actually upgrading this would give me more damage into that. And then let's upgrade this as well. Um, his phoenix is coming up right now. This is bad. I actually need to go for demon king right now. Uh oh. Uh, usually you want to go for demon king before, like, a little bit before the phoenix comes up. So about, like, right before I am right now. Because then they have to choose between defending the fire wave and defending demon king. But now he might be able to do both. That ward is also super important. Okay, he's on the other side of the map. So he defended the fire wave. So now I get Demon King. 
And it's something kind of cheesy about Duel. It's like, it's not great design in my opinion. It kind of makes it impossible to get Phoenix back up when you're defending it, but uh, that's just the way it is, you know? Also, did I not pick up Red Buff? Whoops. I thought I did. My bad. I'm sorry. I, make that, I guess I wasn't paying attention. Or I had blue buff or something. I don't know. Now with Diamond Arrow, I'd take this pretty damn fast. Even if I die here, it's worth However, at this point, he is going to start being able to kill us pretty fast. So we're going to have to do something about that. Um, Wait, did he beat Zare? I, I, I don't know why my memory is so shot right now. Uh, Yeah, he did beat Zare, didn't he? So if he beats Zare, then I have my blink up. I could get a nice kill on him. My beats are almost up. I don't have power potion, though. Oh, no way he gets Phoenix, too, does he? Does he really? <laughs> yeah, no way he gets Phoenix. Okay, now we use Toxic Blade and Doom Warp to catch up to him, maybe? Maybe not. Alright, well, in this case, if we're just going to go fight as Titan anyways... Um, I'm not going to pick up blue buff. First of all, I'm not going to pick up blue buff because red buff's coming up soonish. Going to get my power potion. That way we're fighting at max build. Would this last be till after the routine? We might want to sell Bancroft for something else at this point in the game. Maybe. Just because Bancroft's usually worth keeping, but when they have anti-heal, it's kind of iffy. Like, you mostly have it for the power at this point, but... I have blink up. Oh, uh, the stupid minions kept me from blinking. Oh, okay, it doesn't even matter. You missed the impale. Oh, that was so... Oh, he almost got away with that. That would have been so annoying if he got away with that. Because uh, once he went over that wall... I had blink. I just had to get blink on him, but he kept me in combat with the ult, which is good of him. Then the minions kept me in combat, and then he, he could have just impaled me away, but he missed. Okay, 19 seconds. That should be game. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was an amazing game, an incredible full gameplay to record against a diamond on her. This is definitely the. I would say this is the matchup I get asked about the most. However, every on her player is different. So this on her player was probably one of the most defensive players i have fought which can be a good play style um if you're impatient but uh not quite i think the hardest play styles is the aggressive ones because on her definitely has the advantage at level three uh with beads up but yeah super awesome super awesome fight uh, I hope you guys enjoyed. Here are the player stats. And if you guys have any tips and tricks for this matchup and you have a way to put them into words, then let me know. Uh, I kind of just did what I could during the full gameplay, but it's kind of hard to, like, type out. So when people ask me about it, you know. But, uh, yeah, anyways, hope you guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you guys next time. <laughs>